Mike Zim 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 with three points he'll try to win throwing on first downs a sin with Mike Zim 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 Woo! Love it man. New anthem sweeping the country even though uh, it, it may only be relevant for a hot second but yeah, whatever. Mike Zimmer current Vikings head coach met with the media jackals on Wednesday to talk about things and stuff in what could be his final Wednesday presser. So let's dive in uh, on Lamar Jackson, Chris Thomas and go Vikings coach Mike Zimmer said going against Lamar Jackson is almost like playing against a wildcat with his running ability says defense has to be disciplined. So uh, that's a good way to start out potentially your last Wednesday presser is like, Hey, let's call Lamar Jackson, basically a running back, bring him back, the, uh, back that whole trope from the draft process. Ah, he throws pretty good for a running back just just great but yeah the Vikings have struggled against running quarterbacks basically forever I've been mean, going back uh, to that Steve Young run back in the day Michael Vick RG3 I don't know it, it, there's just something about a running quarterback that the Vikings can't handle they can't and even once they got a running quarterback in Randall Cunningham he was so old they didn't run and also why run when you can just throw it up to Randy Moss but I digress there. But, yeah, Lamar Jackson off of the bye. John Harbaugh is going to have that team ready to go. It's going to be tough. It, it is going to be tough. Although, if you can contain him, and it will be tougher with Daniil Hunter, everyone needs to play disciplined. Everyone has to play their assignments. No hero ball out there. Uh, 11 against Lamar Jackson and this offense. They can get it done, so we'll, we'll see. On defensive line injuries, Andrew Kramer, Star Tribune. Yeah. Mike Zimmer with no update on no tackle Michael Pierce. We'll see today as the Vikings get ready to play Michael Pierce's former team. Coaching adjustments without Daniel Hunter now, because why would you change things uh, after losing the league's best pass rusher, but sure and getting secondary to play better without top rusher yeah we'll have to cha challenge guys more then we have to be creative in some of the rushes so the vikings may have to opt for the 2020 option where you send a lot more guys on blitzes you have a lot more twists you have to get a lot more creative on first and second down uh, i mean zimmer always gets after it on third down but they will potentially have to manufacture a pass rush as opposed to the ultimate luxury of getting pressure with four, having seven sit back in coverage, especially on third and long. So eh, we'll, we'll see there. On rookie third round pick, uh, Patrick Jones, the second, potentially getting some run. Will Raggett, Sports Illustrated, you. Mike Zimmer on Vikings rookie defensive end, Patrick Jones, second, who could make his NFL debut this week. I'm not saying he's Everson, but he plays like Everson. He rushes like Everson. He's a violent player. So don't weigh the kid down. With lofty expectations. I mean, don't do that at all. I mean, a guy who hasn't played an NFL snap on defense yet, it's like, ah, oh, hey, that guy, that rookie third-round pick who hasn't played and also is coming off a knee injury that he suffered in practice. Yeah, another pra damn practice injury. Uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, don't, yeah let, let's not compare him to one of the best pass rushers in team history. And that's saying a lot, given the team's history. But, yeah, okay. But uh, I am pretty bullish on Patrick Jones. Uh, I think that eventually two, three, four years down the line. He could be a little something, something as well as, man, it really sucks that Janaris Robinson uh, is missing this year because he was placed on IR before the start of the season, so he can't come back because I think this will be a prime opportunity for him, but whatever. Zimmer reading off his CV. Chris Thompson, Pioneer Press, go. Vikings coach Mike Zimmer has twice just read off a bunch of prepared stats when asked about how his defense is doing and asked about how his offense is doing. And... This seems like a man who is not supremely confident in his position. And this is a, hey, you see what I've done for you? This is what I've done for you. And some of the stats are good. I mean, offensively, the Vikings are you know, top 10-ish in most categories. Same thing on defense. that They are getting better after a pretty rough start. But, nah. Now, the, the key ones, third down, both directions, certainly were not there against the Cowboys. They're 50% on defense. They're 1-13 to on offense. So he can relay stats all that he wants. They're just not getting it done, and they don't have any spark. They don't have any fire. They don't have things that you can't quantify on a stat sheet, and Zimmer is the reason that this team has been lacking that. Finally, on the trade deadline, Shaw Borman, NFL, goo. Mike Zimmer said the Vikings tried to trade for a defensive end at the trade deadline, but nothing materialized. With Daniel Hunter out for the season, Everson Griffin, DJ Wanham, Kenny Willekes, and rookie Patrick Jones, who Zimmer said plays like Griffin, will handle the defensive end duties. And uh, yeah, I'm sure that Spielman tried to make a couple of calls, and maybe Zimmer let the cat out of the bag, where if you can't get a trade done, 
you don't say that you try to get something done because that doesn't really inspire confidence in the guys that you now have to rely on. It's like, hey, you know, we tried to uh, trade for a defensive end, but now we have to rely on these slappies. So, yeah. Were they in on Charles Amenu, uh from the Texans who went to the Niners? Maybe. I would have been okay with that, especially given the, the trade compensation. Were they in on Melvin Ingram when he went from the Steelers to the Chiefs? Would have been less excited about that. Uh, if they were going to trade, have it be for a young, younger guy, either on his rookie deal or a young veteran who uh, has some potential. But either way, it didn't work out. So dance with the one that that you're with. I think it is a big time opportunity for DJ Wanham, Kenny Willickis, Patrick Jones the second once he gets healed up uh, and go from there. But yeah, uh, Zimmer wasn't as surly as his Monday presser, but also he seems like a, a guy who's just exhausted. And that's what happens when you're, involved with the Vikings. They just exhaust you. And I think Zimmer knows that he may be on borrowed time in this job. But your thoughts on our thoughts, Zimmer's Wednesday presser, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vi Vikings takes. Venmo, pay that man his money. But until next time, Skull, production value.